Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lercy and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a photograph look like a sketch in Photoshop. So it's pretty quick and easy to do so let's just run through it right now. I've got an image right here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this layer. I'm going to do that by dragging it right down here to this second icon from the right making a copy of it just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I've got to make this black and white so we're going to click right here the little circle and go to hue saturation. This is going to make an adjustment level here above our layer. And on this uh, adjustment I'm basically just taking the saturation down to zero. So that's going to take away the saturation below it. Okay, easy enough. Now what I've got to do is turn this part here into the sketch. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change blending modes to color dodge. And right there you can see that's getting us pretty close, but we're going to do a couple more steps. I'm going to go up here to Image, Adjustments, Invert. And now you can see it's really starting to come through there, but we got to make one last change, and what we're going to do is put a blur on it. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. There you go. Then it's just a matter of dialing this the amount of blur. You see if you come too far, it starts looking like a photograph again. If you go too far to the left, you can't see anything. But somewhere in here, you will find the right amount, and it kind of depends on your personal preference, but that's pretty close, somewhere in there about, in this particular image, looks like about six is great. Hit OK. And there you go. Now you've got a, a pretty good looking sketch. If you want to add a little more pop to it, what you can do is add one more adjustment level, uh, adjustment layer, but this time with levels, and some bring in that black edge just a little bit, like that. And there you go. There's your pencil sketch in Photoshop. Just took us a, a minute or so, and uh, it's easy to do. And sometimes you can use it to make a, a really unique looking image out of uh, some of your photographs. So give it a try, play with it some, and see how it works for you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye bye.